Handball has a rich history on the East Coast. The game has flourished in places like New York and Chicago. Meanwhile, one of the biggest and most popular East Coast handball events over the past half century has been the Peachtree Open in Atlanta, Georgia. Professional handball players from Ireland, Canada, Mexico, and multiple states here in the U.S. have converged to this hotbed of handball to help kick off the 2019 Race for Eight Professional Handball Season Number 9. We welcome you to the E4 Design Ron Cook Memorial Professional Handball Stop with the World Players of Handball on ESPN3 and the Watch ESPN app. Welcome back to the Patron.com WPH Race for Eight season number nine final day here on Sunday on ESPN3 and the Watch ESPN app, courtesy of the World Players of Handball. My name is Dave Vincent, alongside David Fink here for this men's fifth place, excuse me, ninth place final. It's Martin Mulkerns coming in from Ireland going up against Leo Canales. It's kind of an interesting dynamic. These two played, Dave, in Salt Lake City in the ninth place playoffs there. Martin winning 25-11. Regardless of what happens here today, Dave, this will be Side Leo's out. best finish in his race for eight career zero, serving zero. in the top 10. Now, Leo finished second in the, what's become very prestigious, Dave, Breakthrough Player of the Year, Next Gen Star Point. slash Rookie of the Year standings last One, year, coming up zero. just decimal points short of Peter Function. So the pros Point. know that Leo is a guy to watch. Two, serving zero. He's on everyone's radar, but Martin is a guy Martin. most people thought would be playing on Sunday just a little bit later on Sunday. Well, Martin has that first serve and two quick, very quick points. Martin well, Ma uh, it does so well in these playoffs. Well, Martin's last three race events, starting with last year's E4 Ron Cook Memorial, he has been in the ninth place final. He won the first two finals, Salt Lake City and here, and he's trying to make it a hat trick. I called him Mr. Ninth, but he didn't Point. appreciate it. No. no. No, you're talking about two time and two consecutive time world Three, finalist. Zero. And here he is with his best finish, I believe, at ninth. Well, on in, the, the, race in race. the last 12 months, yes. He has won the first round just one time in eight race events. That was, of course, when he beat Emmett Pichot in Salt Lake City, 2013. I know you knew that, and then Four, lost to Sean Lang in the quarterfinals there. And he's had a lot no, of heartbreaking losses, and he happened to roll up against Zero, Vic Perez seven, two days ago. It was unbelievable what Vic, a display that Vic put on. Had he gotten past Vic, I think you would have seen him. Point. Probably in the finals. I don't know. Danos looks really, really good. One, I mean, serving four. Danos has rolled Point. through this draw without dropping a game, Dave. Only that's player true. in the field that's not dropped a game. Two, serving four. And with the exception of a late comeback Start. from Vic Perez in that first game yesterday, Second, sir. he hasn't been close to dropping a game. Remember, he was up 14-9 to nine in right that out. game, and end up winning 14-13, but that's as close as it's been. Four, serving two. Level five referee, Dave, in the hot seat. Also, that's a great get from Martin. The 70 right plus singles champion here at the E4, Ron Cook, I know you're following that bracket. Four, serving two. I'm sorry, is that five serving two? Five, serving two. Now you know that it's not about me, Dave, at all, but Point. I think I've played Leo more than anyone, including his frequent sparring partners Six, in serving two. Juarez in El Paso. That's true, sure. We play, it seems like in every tournament, indoor Second and outdoor. Serve. Yeah, it's true. So you, and I, well, you've seen the growth. Yes. I mean, you've seen him just get better. Yes. Exponentially. He might not be putting that on display Seven, right now, but two. you see a different Martin out here who's trying to get this match over with. Four, 
Well, Leo, like Point. just about anybody, needs to be stepping into the ball and having an opportunity to attack, and Martin's not giving him that opportunity. Eight, He's serving two. paddling and on his heels right now, trying to deal with Martin Mulkern's power. And Side out. Let's see if Leo can come in here and impose himself a little bit. Two, serving eight. And you're talking about Martin in these playoffs, Dave, winning Point. in routes. Right, he, it's sort of like the way Luis Three, Moreno would eight. be if Luis lost sure. an early round, he would come in and just dominate. Martin has won eight Second straight serve. playoff matches. No one has scored more than 15 in any of those matches. In the 15 was last night. And if you take away that 15, no one scored more than 12 in those eight matches. That's the 25. This is a one gamer to 25, yet the win by two as our Almost Side all out. of the playoffs. Well, I think Martin Eight, serving three. struggles with a little bit of nerves in the main draw in these race for eight events. Almost psychological now that he's not done well based on just how good he is. And he comes here and puts a lot of pressure on himself and doesn't really relax Point. until he gets into the playoffs. Because this version of Martin is a finalist Nine, in the three. main draw. It is. And I'm not sure Point. necessarily that his loss to Vic had anything Thank to do you. with pressure. Vic just played Second incredible. Serve. And Martin said, I played good. Sometimes you think you play good, and then you didn't. I'm just going to well, say Well, he thinks that. he did. No, I'm saying I know. There's been plenty of matches I thought I played good and lost, and then watched the tape and realized I didn't play good. Leo Canales Dave was a very good baseball player. Did Point. not really become serious about handball until he was about 18 or 19. So he's Ten, only been serious three. about handball for four or five years. So you talk about seeing this growth. It's not just from playing pro handball. It's also he doesn't have that much experience playing handball. Not that many years under his belt. Martin reminds me, Dave, of my favorite all-time athlete. Roger Federer? Ivan Drago. Point. He's imposing. He's powerful. He just goes in there and just 11, dominates. I don't know how anyone can do anything against this. Now, I know Martin lost to Paul Brady in that national final, but he pushed Paul Brady there. I know the scores might not reflect. Yeah, he did. He pushed but he him. was, yeah. I mean, this was a Paul Brady that was just really dominating. And I think maybe the, the best or close to the best version of Brady that we've ever seen. And Martin hung with him after defeating Sign Daniel out. Cordova easily in two games and then defeating Killian Carroll in the semifinals. And I believe, I could be wrong, 17 Three, points in that 11. first game Martin got? Sure. I think it was 13. Okay. Yeah. I think it was about Second, 9 and 13. But he had Paul Brady worried. Martin does a smart shot there. Now it's a big setup. Side out. Now Martin not eligible, Dave. I know you were curious because the next gen cup Eleven, is for 26 three. and under players, but If you've won a prestigious international major title, you're not eligible. So if you've won an All-Ireland, if you've won a race stop, if you've won a Nationals, that excludes you from that 26 and under breakthrough next-gen cup. I was wondering, because yeah. there were a few names that were off that. But right. But like Killian Carroll could be on that, technically. He's under 26 or under. But since, of course, he has so many championships, this is really... A newcomer award. 
Now, you could have it the other way, and a breakthrough player of the year could also be the player of the year. True. Like in the Grammys, you could be the best newcomer, but also best artist of the year. I'm sure that's happened. I mean, you would know. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the type of thing that could happen. I yeah. I don't know. If and it could happen in the breakthrough player of the year. 11, serving three. Now, I hate to talk about who's not here, Dave, but, you know, you've got some great, talented early 20-somethings like Eric Torres right. and Sam Esser who seem to be playing everywhere, but when the race stops come around, 12, serving three. it's radio silence from guys like that. Not sure I understand that. Point. And Leo just going for a lot of low percentage shots, taking a lot 13, of risk three. because just doesn't have a lot of confidence right now and he's not getting a lot of opportunities to step into the ball. Point. And Leo's frustrated with himself here, Dave, but he's not getting any real opportunities to win rallies. 14, serving three. I mean, a fly kill paddle shot off the side wall of a ball that's hit 80 miles per hour, not real high percentage. Half time. 15-3, Montmore Kearns is slicing through Leo Canales like a knife through hot butter. Just like this shot slides down the side wall that's like a, a knife through hot butter. See that blood dripping down Leo's knee there, and Leo stays in the court to continue to warm up. This is something that Martin isn't doing. He did all that early this morning when he got here about an hour ahead of time, and I was very impressed. I walked in about an hour before the match, maybe a little bit before that. He was already in the court throwing the ball around. Mm -hmm. Leo showed up early for him, which was about 30 minutes. Uh, 20 no, minutes. I'd say about 8. 20 minutes. Which, that's early. Well, 8 minutes, yeah. Earlier than I would have expected. So he's taking it somewhat serious. Some of these guys have different ways of getting ready. This is how Leo does it. And I think the pressure of having to come down earlier because it, it gets, you know, for whatever reason, we're on TV, that sort of thing. Maybe possibly you've thrown him off a little bit. He, he's sort of like a Moreno where he does all of his pre-stuff before he walks into the club. A lot of these other guys do their pre-warm-up. What is their pre to do before you get to the court? 30 Trying seconds. To stretch, this out. stretch. Get your mind straight. Mind. These two are also, Dave, contenders for face team presidents, mm -hmm. both these players. We'll have those formal elections after the, after that big Portland Classic. Only up. the women's race for eight stars have a vote and you and I. Now, how did you and I get votes in that? Uh, I don't know, that's frustrating. I don't wanna be a part of that. But you are, okay, you have in. a ballot. I've seen you vote. Well, I'm, I'm never gonna reveal. I, I was told. I yeah. had to. Okay. 15, serving three. As a former president myself, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> they, I, they make me do it. Trust me, it was years ago. Side out. Three, serving 15. Leo has a huge contingent in Juarez watching him right now. One of the great handball communities in the world there in Juarez. You know, there's nothing better, Dave, than being part of one of these great communities. And there's two great Point. shots in a row from Leo. Four, serving 15. Short. This is a great replay right here. Yeah, this is beautiful. And this is what... Second serve. Leo has not had a chance to do. Now you see how he's bringing these serves around off Point. the back wall, off the side walls. And Martin's able to Five, tee off on every 15. shot. He's not jamming Martin. He's not forcing Martin to take half swings or scoop swings. And now finally hitting some drives with some power. 15, serving five. Side out. Five serving 15. Point. Some errors creeping in now for Martin. Six, Believe it or not, Dave, these playoff Point. matches 
might feel like they're over when it's 15 to three, but we've seen a lot of turnarounds. We have, yeah, in this format, certainly. And you wouldn't think it. People complain that in one game, if you get down, you're out. But really, that hasn't been the case. Point. I think it's more or less players are Seven, serving 15. insecure about a format that it, it kind of leaves them a little bit insecure when they Short. play this format because they just don't know. Second it's not serve. comfortable to them, what so happened? therefore no, they don't point. like it. Thank but you. we have seen Eight, some really 15. weird things. Yesterday was a great example of one game to Short. 25. Emmett played you and was up 11 to 1, 11 to 2. Second, you came back and took it into half at 15 to 14. Yeah. He couldn't get over that. Right. that mountain yesterday, and then you had a big lead and you couldn't get over the mountain. Right. It's, it's such a weird dynamic. It does feel like it's two games in one, especially from a spectator's standpoint. Point. That's a nice little underhand paddle. Look at on this another comeback now. now from Leo. Six straight Nine points. Serving 15. Usually this happens when Martin would be at 14, not 15, but, you know, Leo's making his run here. This is the future of the sport right here. Two guys like this. Incredible. Look at this get. Oh, oh my gosh. Point. And there is no hinder there because Unbelievable. Martin couldn't have gotten to that ball. Look at this play right here. No, nah, this is great. Could have Martin have pulled that ball Short. around to the left a little bit? Maybe it Yeah. Oh, even if he pinched the Second corner, serve. it would have worked. Kind of tough to pinch from that that angle. Here's another good look here. See, he has Leo. Martin out of the Martin gets right into his shot too. Oh no. But Leo is in the driver's seat now in these rallies. And that's some of the inexperience from Leo right there. Martin's probably missed three opportunities here already in this rally. As has Leo. I'm, well, I mean Leo. Okay. Excuse me, sorry. There's a fourth. Doesn't do it. Now Leo's tired in this rally. And that's Slide a tired out. shot there. Now remember, Leo made the semifinals of the three wall nationals just Time a couple one. of weeks ago where he beat Daniel Cordova in the quarterfinals. Daniel Cordova, a finalist the year before. So that was an impressive win. That is. Shows that Leo has a lot of versatility in his game. And then he lost to Abraham Montijo in the semifinals. Well, he, I, I, though I spoke wrong and said Martin, I really was talking about Leo. He, uh -huh. he had three good opportunities, four there at the very end. He executes just one of those four, and yeah. he has 11, and he's serving right yeah. now. Well, the problem in these matches, the intensity, if you're swinging all out four or five times in a rally and not ending the rally with those shots, the fatigue sets in in the middle of the rally. And then you see a lot of the rallies end with an error, like the one Leo seconds. made where he wasn't able to bend his knees and tried to hope a paddle kill in right. when the right shot would have been to back up. But, you know, your legs aren't allowing you to back up at that point after 30 shots. And that was a good time out there from Leo because in one minute, generally, you can get your 15, heart rate back 7, down 10. and get your legs under you again. Point. And now Leo, who was in a good position to be within four, finds himself 16, now down 7, by 10. six. And a, a huge loss of momentum for him. Uh, and now right he gets now. it back. So that's good for him. Yeah, that was a, a nice shot there from Leo. Kind of a mishit serve, a, a tricky one. A low Z serve. 10, serving 16. And you just can't give Martin these opportunities. Revolving door, I would say Martin's best shot, very similar to Charlie Shanks, who just owns that revolving door kill. Leo's playing a pretty good defense, I believe. Uh, Leo's nice all-around player. And he's very streaky. 11, serving 16. And I think they streaky, uh, is that just part of handball or is that part of his, you know, maturing process as a young player? I think it's probably maturing process. But because we've seen Killian also streaky. Yeah. I think at this level, streaks are inevitable Side regardless out. of your age. I played 16, Leo last year 11. in Salt Lake City. In the first game, he was untouchable. He got to everything. It felt like he killed everything. Point. And then the second and third games was like that. Side 
17. Well, if he can learn to play within himself, he's going to be really dangerous. But then that's also hard to do because then... You're taking away one of his big weapons. Yeah. Which is retrieving, being streaky, attacking you when you're down. Yeah. What a shot. But see, that Point. was gettable for him, not for any well, other human. Well, he expecting that because Martin went to the Irish whip there, which the anticipation wasn't 18, there here for Leo. Good shot. I think that ball might be Point. broken. It sounded like it. Ball Martin broke. wants to play it over, so it must be. Thank you. Now, it seems that there's something about if the balls are opened before and they sit out that they don't break. Is, is, yeah. Is that what I'm noticing? Yeah. Okay. Because that that's, ball was just open and yeah, it broke pretty I, quickly. I, it, it, that seems to be what's happening. That's why when I got here, I opened them up. I oh, opened I up I half the lot, so to speak. Okay, I didn't see Now they're back ones. into the uh, – they're into the crack open the can. Okay. Well, Leo scored 11 last time they played in the playoffs in Salt Lake City. He's now at 11. 18, serving 11. But thus far in the second half, Dave, Leo has outscored Martin 11 to, or excuse me, 8 to 3. Side out. So that's pretty encouraging. Yeah, no, that's, that's good. I mean, 11, you said in Salt 18. Lake, Leo got 11 points. Yes. Okay, so he's matched that here. That Thank ball you. hits him on the way up. So already 11, he's made an improvement. 18. Okay. With the next point he scored. And after such a terrible start. Hinder ball. Hinder now ball. Does, that's not a good call. Now, does somebody like Leo say, 11, serving 18. okay, I, I got to a terrible start. I arrived eight minutes before, and I probably only warmed up for two minutes. Maybe Side out. next time I play, I should get there 30 minutes early. Right? It's part of the maturing process, but maybe yeah. his process isn't 18, that. 18, serving 11. It's worked for other players. You might recall one time at a U.S. Open, Paul Brady showed up late. Mm -hmm. And he still went in there and dominated everybody. Hmm. Side out. And they only gave him about an eight, seven-minute warm-up. Well, he might, know, have Paul, he might have been on the back court, though. Could have been. Have and Leo could have been as well, is what I'm saying. We don't know where Leo was at. I mean, I don't I walk do. around. Second serve. He's not in the facility. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. He was on time for the match. Side out. 18, serving 11. Short. Second serve. Side out. 11, serving 18. I want to congratulate Dave, our very good buddy, Mr. 189, Pete Papadimitrius, who's in his first Broken. Open final. Pete is a huge... 17th place? No, open singles here. Oh, okay. this, I know how we love when there's open singles and a qualifier oh, and yeah, a that, drop down. I like that one. It's my favorite. <laughs> well, luckily for you, it's <laughs> happening here, oh. and Pete's in that open final. That's impressive. Yeah. Eleven serving eighteen. Point. Twelve serving eighteen. Wow. Side out. Sometimes those corner kills just pinch so perfectly. 18, serving 12. 
We need to see Leo get back into that rhythm that he was when he was scoring all of those points. Nice shot there from Martin. That's tough. Leo tracks it down. You know, the pro players are so good at playing defense, that was a terrible shot. Ball bad was a bad bounce. bounce, no call from the ref. But Martin did put his hand up, so I'm not sure what's happening here. Point. Now he has amnesia. But these pro players are so good at, you, you think they're out of control and they're playing defense and they put the ball in a really 19, good spot. Serving 12. You know, a difference from, you know, years ago, possibly, where the guys are diving for a ball backwards, yet they throw it into such a good spot yeah. that their opponent doesn't have a place to go with it. Yeah, I think Luis Cordova is the master of that now. It's like, how do you do that? You look like you're totally out of 20, control, and yet you, you place it. Martin will put this away. Point. That's one of the issues that you have Time when you number one. bank yourself behind the person shooting the ball. They have a lot of options. That ball was gettable, but Leo is having to think that Martin's going to push that ball down that right wall, so he overplays to the right. Martin hits the corner. The ball stays up, but Leo's out of position because he can't see it. Well, Leo's legs were not under him at the end of that rally there. This is the peach tree open. The 2019 Ron Cook Memorial, brought to you by E4 Design and Patron.com, WPH, the World Players of Handball, here on ESPN. We're at Rec ATL in Lilburn, Georgia. We, we say Atlanta because we're trying to give you a spot to think about. It's not very far away. I was in miles. downtown Duluth the other night. Really quaint southern charm. Right, that's town. where I'm staying, actually, at oh. my hotels in Duluth. Okay. That's another little hot spot that when you say it, people kind of, kind of know the area that you're in. Terrible shot there from Leo. And he pays the price. Point. That's one of those after you hit it off the bounce, you're thinking to yourself, that was coming off the back wall. Why didn't I let it go there? But sometimes when that ball bounces 22, right next to you, you feel 12. like you have to swing. It's weird. I, I almost believe it's because you're, you're out of air and you feel like this is this the best thing for you so you don't have to move as much. But it's actually the worst thing for you. Well, I think, you know, Side ball out. that's that low, you're not thinking about the back wall. But it's hit so hard that it actually will come off the back well, wall. I think that well, one would have. So Side improvements out. on Leo's game, would you consider his serve uh, an area that he needs 12. to improve? Well, you know, I saw him win the Tucson Race Freight pre-qualifier against Shorty Ruiz, and he served incredible. I thought it was about the best serving I'd seen, maybe minus Vic Perez hitting an ace on every serve. But he was hitting a hard reverse to the left that was double bouncing with a head fake. But I haven't Side really out. seen that at all in this tournament. Mm -hmm. So I think he has it, but for some reason has not located it here well, serving 22. in Lilburn. Now you've played both of these guys Point. on this this individual that I'm gonna compare Leo to, Leo to right now. 13, so Leo right now 22. compared to this person's prime, I wanted your thoughts, who would win okay. Leo now versus Anthony Celesto at his best? Leo. Point. You didn't hesitate? No. Do you find them similar in a way? Tracking balls down. Um, 14, serving 22. Because I see so much of the same guy. You know, obviously Leo is trending up. And we haven't seen Anthony in a while, but Anthony at his very best versus Leo right now, today, I would say is pretty close. Almost similar. Anthony had some great moments. Played some good ball. Hinder ball. Oh, that was not a hinder. I don't think Leo is going to take this. Well, I know Celesto defeated... You, Dave you Chapman, Sean Leo? Lenning twice. So I know right. that Thank you. he's got those big wins. That's and that true. would be that would be similar to Leo defeating you know, maybe a you Luis Cordova, Daniel Cordova, maybe 
Killian Carroll. So if you're going by resume, then it's Anthony. They did play in 2016, the first time that Leo Canales qualified in Minnesota. But Anthony was coming off one of his seven broken Point. legs. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's really a fair 23 serving 14. comparison there. Oh, that's not good. Point. Here it is. This is match point. Martin Mulkerns will stay on the court if he gets this last 14. one here for an interview with Kara. Martin is going to Tucson. Side out. He says Tucson will be his last one of the year. 14, last serving 24. The That's not good. Or, I mean, it is good. Hinder ball. Oh, that's tough. What's Martin going to do with that shot? 14, serving 24. Short. I watched three Second points serve. of a 70 singles match this morning, Dave, and I saw three hinders. Side out. Well, I, I should say three points scored. Five rallies, three hinders, 14. none of which were hinders. A bad bounce that wasn't a bad bounce, and a short serve short by two feet that was played. Good. Yeah. So, nice match. not a good idea. And Martin does it. He Beautiful. takes down ninth Way to place, play. Way to play. defeating Thank you. Leo Canales. Thank this you. is one of those good ones for Leo to learn more. Look, textbook shot from Martin as he slides that ball down. It's one of those modified kill shots slash, slash pass shots there to get that final point. Let's go over to Kara, who's in the court with our champ. Kara? Talk about this one, ninth place. We always show it because it is important how this all plays out in points and everything as well. Yeah, look, it's, it's not where we wanted to be, to be honest. Um, I've been in this position before. I think this time last year saying the same thing. Um, yeah, it's disappointing, you know, the, to qualify and then lose the round of 16 to, to Vic. He just played very well, but I suppose when that happens, you just have to try to win the games that are left. And, you know, it's a little bit harder to get motivated for, for these games. And, but, um, yeah, look, we're hoping to take a few things from this, improve, and be better for Tucson in a few weeks' time. Talking about the disappointment, but then when you come into these matches, is there something that you want to prove? In the, in the playoff games? <laughs> well, I suppose, look, as I say, you don't want to lose any game. I didn't come here with the intention of losing any of the matches that I played. I don't think anyone else came here with any intention of losing. That's, we're all competitors. We all want to win. Um, but as I say, you just when, when you're dealt that blow that you're out in the round of 16, that's, that's all you can do. And as I said, I try to win every game I play. So that's just the mentality I took into the last two or three games of the, the ninth place playoff. You know? I know you're going to be in Tucson here in a month. What are you going to go back and focus on? Uh, there's, a, there's a few things, you know, I think it's uh, obviously I want to play on the Pro Tour as much as I can. I think the, the WVH are doing a super job keeping the game going, keeping, you know, a Pro Tour there for the top players. It's so important uh, for our sport, um, you know, but in terms of what I'm going to do in the next month, it, it's early season for us in Ireland. So I wanted to, you know, obviously wanted to compete here, but a part of it is just to, you know, get competitive games, real tough matches uh, ahead of our championship next year as well. So um, obviously coming here trying to win the pro staffs, come back in a few weeks. Uh, look, looking at the guy, he's going to have to tighten up my serve. Um, we've been playing 60 by 30 the last month or two. I felt the footwork was a bit slow for what was needed at this level here, especially at the speed of that ball. So, um, you know, we're going to have to get back on back on the road running and, and doing the, you know, work hard on the strength and condition, the fitness. It's, you know, it's a grueling weekend really when you have to, if you're planning on playing around the 16 quarter final the same day and then a, or a semi-final the same day and then a final the next day, you have to be prepared. And I, I don't think I was at 100% this weekend. And if you're not at 100%, you'll get punished. And that's what, that's what happened. Well, we look forward to seeing you in a few weeks. Thanks a million. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Back to you. Yeah, thanks, Kara. Martin does it. He wins ninth place over Juan Leo Canales. We have fifth place final between Vic Perez and Emmett Pichot coming up next. That one's probably going to air in about 10, 12 minutes or so, so we want you to stick around for that as we have more continuous coverage of this race for eight stop here on ESPN3 with the world players of handball at WPHlive.tv. For Dave Fink, Kara Mack, Chris Grad, and Linda Manning, plus the help from Shay Lowenstein, my name is Dave Vincent. Stay around for more handball to include the men's finals coming up at 11.45 a.m. Eastern Time, here on ESPN3. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds 
cubs take naps? I couldn't tell you. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. If you love them enough to drive an hour to cheer them on as they get beat 11 to nothing in the rain, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat.